Hello everyone, welcome back to this our question. Hope you have a wonderful day. So this episode is going to be based on how to cut a bubu top using this silk fabric. You can see the silk fabric. I'm using one of silk fabric to cut it out. So the first thing I'll be doing here is to fold it into four places. This is into two first, as you can see, then into four. This is into four places now. So the next thing I'll be doing here is to determine the length of this thing. So I'll be starting from the center here to the stiff length. This is 28 inches. I'm using the old length. So the 28 inches is with the same allowance of the stiff length. So now, to take the length of the top, I'll be using 19 inches for the length. This is the length of the top here, 19 inches. So the hip measurement for this top is uh, 45 inches. So the waist is going to be 42. I'll be using 42 here. That's the band where this top is going to reach. So the 42 I'm using is here. This is 10. 0.5 in four places is going to give her 42 then i'll be adding two inches to it to give me 44. so that means 11 inches in four places is going to be 24 and the actual measurement is 42 then the two inches is going for the same allowance so it's from this 44 that i'm going to cut it down to the sleeve length this is 44 inches then This sleeve, it has an elastic rubber here, so I'll make it very wide. So when, by the time I put the elastic rubber, it will make it fine when this is very wide. So let me use 14 inches for the wideness of the sleeve. 14 inches. So it's from this 14 inches, I'm going to curve it down to 11 inches. Can see so by the time I cut it out, we're going to see it properly. So you can see. So let me trim this area to make it equal. So now, what we mean here is the cutting of the neckline. Because the, the neckline is white. So the next thing that we mean here is the cutting of the neckline. The wideness here of making is of seven. It's not constant. You can make it of any measurement. It depends on how you want it to be. You can make it of nine, you can make it of ten. It depends on how wide you want your own to be. So here, the deepness is going to be. 2.5 inches both the back and the front so i'll be connecting them together and from here i'll be cutting it out so this is the neck now so i'll be putting an elastic over here after taking it in then i'll put in an elastic cover. i'm going to show you all on how to achieve that so as you can see this particular top is very simple and straightforward you can see the neckline and you can see the down part this is the sleeve area and this is the down part the down part at, uh, at where it's going to lay on the trouser so i want to use this opportunity to thank you all for watching my video always and for those of you that are going to subscribe i really appreciate you guys for subscribing to my channel and for those who are watching me for the first time please at the end of this tutorial make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you give you a thumbs up stay on on your notification bell so that whenever i upload any video you'll be notified so let me go and show you let me go and show you and show you the finishing Yeah, the finished work so far. This is the booboo top. This is the neck, the wide neck. You can make it straight. You can make the keno neck. As you can make it straight, I can bend it to the 
to the shoulder like this it depends on how you want to style it but i style it the way it is on the thumbnail you can see it now you can see the elastic cover that i said i'm going to put at the at the sleeve side you can see it this i put one inch i put that half inch of elastic rubber you can see it i can see the length of the top you can see the ammo you can see the white ammo you can see it and this area i didn't join it at the shoulder here is the way i fold it so you can see the way i fold it, it doesn't have joining at the shoulder you can fold yours to have joining it doesn't mean it can have joining at the shoulder it cannot it might not have joining at the shoulder that doesn't affect the the top at all so please for those who watch it for the first time please make sure to subscribe to my channel and for those who have already been watch my video i really appreciate you guys for following me always thank you thank you so much so please make sure you on your notification bell so that whenever i upload any tutorial you'll be notified see you in my next class bye